here, Jazzy. Come on, girl. Come on. Now, she senses what I'm going to do because I give her some of these treatments throughout her week. So, she gives me that look like she's ready. And I can tell that she's she's got some discomfort going through her body. And I'm going to first show you a few spots that are real easy spots to make her just relax and let the stress out just in a lab's ears and a lot of times if you get good at it you'll find a spot to lean against Right behind their skull, there's a lot of cranial work that they need because the stress is just pouring out of them. So the head massage and the back of the neck also work around the, the jaw which is actually something that I've learned to do in the last couple of years is to do a full jaw massage. Now what's going on is their jawline right here there's an enormous amount of stress just like with humans and I want to say the clenched jaw syndrome in, in dogs is easy for me to pick out because when you touch them they let out a groan like she did a couple of minutes ago and then there's a channel that runs up through the back of their head into where the ear stress is so the jaw stress into the head stress it's going to be a big part of what you're going to want to do. Now what I recommend you do is you do it into parts and you don't try to do the whole thing I just described at once. You want to break a quarter of her head and a quarter of her head in the front and the front. And then there's some general stuff you can go back to which is just going to be bringing back that sense of pleasure after there's a stress release because what happens sometimes when you go to let out a big chunk of stress is that they react with a twitch now I'll show you some of those things on the back because it's exactly what happens to her she lets out a big big huge amount of stress and what happens is there's an intense shudder So it's one of the indicators that I know I'm in the right spot because I get a shutter. And then I'll work around those areas. And as you can see, it, it's really a shutter or a little convulsion. And I've isolated it. There's an area right in here where she's really tender. So you want to be aware that you don't want to do this too hard. And it's going into the front. She's got some major stresses in her body. So I'm going to show you what the responses look like when you find those places that are that are good releases. First around her head, then there's a spot on the front of her, which right now is inflamed. 
I'm going to want to work around because her shoulders and her back are in distress. And again, there's a ridge where you can feel you could feel the stress come out. And that rib right there that's shuddering I'm not going to spend too much time there. I'm going to let it out and then I'm going to leave it alone. By that I mean about a minute. The other spot that I know I let her just lean up against my thumb. It's right below her ear. Then there's a spot right here on the inside of her paw. It's a huge release, and there's one on each toe. I'm going to show you those one at a time, and you can see that I hit it, and there's a response, a lot like pulling out a thorn, and then it, it hurts, and then really what I'm doing is releasing all the stress. What I typically do is work their head down and then pull it out of their paws. keep the sessions short, keep her happy.